April 27th, 28th, 29th, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So sun's in Taurus, the moon's in Aries. Mercury's entering Gemini on the 29th. It's leaving Taurus. But right now we've got a little bit of an energetic Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because as soon as the moon goes into a fire sign, I hope you notice it. There's definitely an increase of voltage. So when I'm feeling like, oh my goodness, the Taurus energy is here and I'm paying attention for this whole month, to let myself be a little calmer. When the moon's in Aries, I jump right in. And I make myself, I go, you know what you're exercising today, Deb? Pluto's gonna go retrograde all the way till October. What is the significance of that? Everyone always asks me. Announcement, Pluto goes retrograde at least 70% of the time in the sky. So we, it's like saying you're gonna make a big deal out of something that happens all the time. No, what it does mean, however, for those of you that have Pluto sitting on your chart, and if you want to find out, Pluto is right now at 28 Capricorn. So if you have 28 degrees of Capricorn in your chart, how would you know? You'd call an astrologer. You'd take my class. You'd be looking at your chart while you're watching these and going, do I have anything at all at 28 degrees of Capricorn? Because Pluto's going to be sitting there now going retrograde all the way through till October. If a baby were born with a Taurus, Moon, and Aries, it's such a great combo. Because the Taurus is the gentle person, but the Aries gives them the get up and go. So that's what I was trying to say today. You've got the get up and go, and this may as well take advantage because Taurus's gift is having patience and being really willing to stay the course. But Moon and Aries gives them a kick. At worst, Taurus gets lazy. They eat too much. They stay in the room too much. They watch videos too much and they don't have the get up and go. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, let this be a get up and go. And this new moon we're headed towards, when there's both sun and moon in Taurus, there's going to be a solar eclipse and it will be in Taurus on April, it's coming soon. So we have, not only do we have a new moon coming, there's an eclipse coming and it's going to be strong energy, double Taurus. Take advantage of these three days to get some energy moving. Tell me what you're doing. I want to hear what you're going to do with this moon and Aries energy. Use it. Astrology Answers told me to tell you.